Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen or good morning or good evening or good anything. Uh, Tere Hikoskinen here again and I'm today playing for the first time with male midgets and I'm quite excited about it. Um, when I opened the kits I was totally away of this color explosion. We had so much of uh, bright colors and well it, it was really good midget because May was full of colors anyway, at least in here in Finland, so it was really nice. Anyway, my first place with um, creating something with the kit it was to pick up this um, Healthy Hello Soup collection group banners from Tin Naked, and I'm just taking, taking some of the words and some of the arrows, feathers and flowers to, to alter. And I'm starting by adding some clear gesso on top of these arrows and feathers. Um, you don't necessarily need any gesso for these because these are really cute wood. But I just wanted to play and see how different, different, differently, <laughs> different materials are uh, acting on top of the wood. Uh, these flowers are getting this uh, white gesso, just a thin layer. I'm going to use some brown pastels on top of them. Uh, I'm going to leave these words without any gesso. Also, these butterflies I took also are not with gesso. I'm just adding some metallic paint on top of them. Uh, I'm using the Denard's paints, but you can also use the texture paste from the color kit. It will uh, give a nice thick layer of whiteness to your wood veneers. I really recommend you to try it. And as my gessos are completely dry, I'm adding my uh, some of uh, watercolors to the feathers. Uh, I actually haven't seen quite many birds with green feathers, but I don't mind about it. I just want to play. So I'm adding some and I'm seeing that clear gesso, the color is spreading uh, really smoothly and it, ha it gives a nice, nice texture to have this uh, uneven layer of the clear gesso. Uh, and for the arrows, I'm using the mist we have in our main color, main color kit. Uh, it's from Shimmers, it's, uh, if I remember right, it's Colorless. I think anyway it's this nice blue mist and it really goes smoothly on top of these wood banners. If you want to have um, a deeper blue you don't need to use the gesso because it kind of resists the mist so so I just wanted to see how this works this way. And when the white gesso is dry on top of the flowers I'm adding some pan pastel, fuchsia red pan pastel uh, to the flowers and then I'm using some fixative to uh, keep the color uh, on the flowers and not on my fingers. And these uh, wood wooden birds are getting some embossing and I'm doing it the way that I'm adding some gold embossing powder here and there. And then I'm adding a layer of white embossing powder to have almost white words, but with some golden spots. Um, this is nice way to uh, use embossing powders because you don't need to be smooth with them. You can play with colors and do some rainbow words and everything like that. Anyway, for the layout I'm making today, uh, I didn't use all these uh, wooden shapes. I'm going to use them later this month, but for this layout I just chose some flowers, if I remember right. Anyway, so now I'm um, cutting some papers from the uh, paper kit, main paper kit, and I'm scrapping a picture of me and my dear friend going to ride into the woods for the first time this year. It's always really nice <laughs> because um, 
Some of the roads here in Finland are really, really dangerous to ride during the winter, so the first times uh, in spring are really, really, really nice to go to the roads. But back to the scrapple player, uh, I chose to use this uh, really nice uh, bloom, paper sea blooms from Illustrate Kate to the kind of background of my photo because it's so bright and delicious and uh, I could actually eat that paper because it's so gorgeous but of course I'm not eating it because I want to see it. Uh, so I'm doing my paper layering thing again. Uh, just making some scraps and then I'm using my staple to to get them together. Uh, I know you will see this <laughs> a lot of my uh, in a lot of my videos, but uh, uh, from time to time I got questions about it, so I think it's nice for you to see. same pattern, pattern and paper are not on top of each other, but there is something be between them to make it look more interesting and more uh, dimensional and looking more good. I think it looks good when you have uh, some of the pattern of there, there and there, but not together in the one place. Uh, so I'm adding just a few pieces more to make sure my just said will go through because I had that yellow too much there and now it's much much bigger. Uh, I'm using double sided tape for the um, adhering part uh, because I don't use any wet medium f wet mediums for this one so the double sided tape will, will keep it together. Um, I want to have some colors on the background, so I'm spraying the same mist I used on the roof veneers to this black plastic uh, back, and then I'm just kind of stamping the color everywhere. You can see I have this huge splash of <laughs> blue in it. It was kind of an accident, but if you don't um, can't cover it, you have to embrace it. But this time I can cover it because I'm doing some some handwriting to this layout and it's really unusual for me to <laughs> do some handwriting but we had this um, exclusive uh, ephemera pack from Hit Kit Club and there was this really nice uh, circle shaped um, tag to use uh, for journaling so I decided to go with it and even though I don't like my hand journaling uh, handwriting the journaling looks kind of nice uh, with this layout. So I'm just finding finding out where to put all the ephemeras. I want to use the, these big flowers and I want to use this uh, round shaped journaling tag. So it's, it's, this is the designing part I'm doing. And once everything is uh, glued together, I'm adding some, some of these uh, we had in the main kit and I feel finished. That was it. It was quite nice. Even though the wood veneer altering thing took some time, but the layout was kind of quick to do and I really liked the result. I hope you like it too and next week we will back with something else. Until then, bye and thanks for watching.